Ooh. Ooh, y'all see that? Y'all see what I see? Guess what I see? Good hair. Hello, Usi gang. Welcome back to my channel once again. It's your girl, Usonne. Cap who up in the his house. Anyway, yes. I am Usone Kaku. I run this channel, Usone Precious, where I make videos on natural hair, beauty, and the lifestyle. So if that is the kind of thing that you are into, go ahead and subscribe because this is the channel to subscribe to. So today, let's discuss products. And products, really, I just wanna talk about products that I am currently using big disclaimer okay this video is not meant to it's not meant as a product review okay i this video is not a product review i'm not reviewing products okay i'm just showing y'all what i use and this is not meant as a video to tell you to go and purchase products okay do not do that the only reason why I am making this video is purely for the fact that I just enjoy talking about products, okay? Uh, so really, this video is just for my own enjoyment, but clearly it's for your enjoyment too, right? Because you all did request it in my Instagram, so. I'm glad I'm, I won't be the only one getting enjoyment out of this. But yes, just big disclaimer. Okay, so the first set of products we're going to talk about is the first thing you use on a wash day to clean and reset your hair. Shampoos. Today I have um, three different shampoos that I use that I'm currently using that I want to show you. So, we're going to first start out with the shampoo I use pretty much every week, and that is the Olaplex Number no. Four Bond Maintenance Shampoo. Oh, can you even see what that looks like? So, the story with this shampoo, those of you who have seen my previous videos on my hair care, y'all know that I was using the AG Balance uh, Shampoo. I was actually using it for the longest. And I was, you know, raving about it and I loved it. I still do love it. I, I like it. I liked the shampoo and I still do. But shampoo is on a spectrum from Okay, most cleansing, less conditioning to least cleansing and more conditioning. Uh, and AG balance falls on the more cleansing side of things. It's not a clarifier. Um, and it's more so in the middle of the spectrum, but it's more towards the more cleansing side uh, to the point where uh, at a point, it ended up becoming uh, too stripping on my hair. So it would clean, but um, it, start, it started becoming too strong for my hair. Basically, my cuticles were blown up because I was using products that didn't require a shampoo as strong as AG Balance anymore. I mean, I felt it too. I felt that it was starting to be too strong on my hair too. But my stylist, during my appointment with my stylist back in, um, sometime in the, in the summer, I wanna say it was July, June, July, I think June or something. Um, she, when she had done my, you know, regular hair inspection, whatever you want to call it, she did advise me to switch shampoo. So she suggested that I change shampoos to this Olaplex number no. four because she said it was just as cleansing but not as stripping as AG. So yeah, 
I, right after my appointment that day, I went to Sephora and purchased this for $28. Truthfully, I think I even love this shampoo better than I, more than I love uh, AG Balance. My most recent appointment, she evaluated my hair again and the shampoo, this shampoo really did bring my hair, it did, it really did bring my hair back uh, and reversed some of that stripping, that, that strip feeling that I was feeling from AG Balance. So yeah, this is the shampoo I use right now and that I'm truthfully enjoying. It's my Olaplex that I started using in the summer. You can see I'm still at the top of my bottle. And I use max, I only use two dollops a wash, no more. And the lather is so much. And by dollop, I mean small drops that are like this size. That's what I mean by dollop. I don't know if that's the correct definition of a dollop, but that is my little drop of shampoo. Now, when I choose to do a clarifying wash on that uh, rare occasion that I do, I don't know when next I'm gonna need that. Uh, yeah, uh, I will use the Kinky Curly Come Clean Shampoo. Uh, and I really do enjoy this. I like this shampoo as a clarifier. I do feel like it gets my hair really clean. Uh, oddly enough though, uh, Kinky Curl, this shampoo, it's a clarifier, but I never, I don't feel like it's dripping on my hair at all. I just feel like it just gets my hair really clean. And then I believe I purchased this from Sally's for $11.99. Yeah, so it's $11.99 at Sally's, but at Target, from Target, you can get it for uh, $9.99. And then after using my uh, clarifying shampoo, I then follow it up with my moisturizing shampoo. So the clarifier is going to be on the highest end of the shampoo spectrum and the moisturizing shampoo is going to be on the lower end of the shampoo spectrum. My moisturizing shampoo that I follow with after using my clarifying shampoo is the Innocence Hydrating Cream Hair Bag, okay? And, uh, Yes, my bottle is, I don't know if you can see that crack in there, but yes, it is cracked. So I learned to use a moisturizing shampoo after my clarifying shampoo because a clarifier has, brings your hair to such a high pH uh, and it just blasts your cuticles open with the high pH that you need a moisturizing shampoo to bring to lower that uh, pH back to normal and help your cuticles just close a little bit more. Uh, so yeah, always follow with a moisturizing shampoo. This shampoo, I dislike using on its own because personally, it is not that clean. It's not cleansing enough for me. And in fact, on the shampoo spectrum, this is Literally, this shampoo, this hydrating cream hair bath, is on the very, very, very low end of the scale of the spectrum of the shampoo spectrum, to the point where uh, it's like a co-wash to me almost. I always, I will always need to do two shampoos in order in order to get a lather with it and for me to feel like it has cleaned my hair. Okay. So it does clean, it does clean. I just don't get as clean of a feeling from it that I know I can get with other shampoos that I can also only use once. But this, I would have to wash my hair twice in order to get a lather. 
since you know the kinky curly has already washed my head my hair the first time this will lather when i use it with kinky curly on the first shampoo it's just alone when i've tried it alone i'm not the hugest fan of super moisturizing shampoos if it's going to take me two washes to get a lather and to feel clean but it lathers well. It lathers well when it does. So now this shampoo is $28 on Ulta and the Innersense website. Uh, so this is for the 10 fluid ounce bottle. And then I create hold and um, what is it? Kinky curly come clean. Uh, yeah. I barely, I don't use them a lot. Uh, I was doing clarifying washes once a month in the beginning. Wow, with this, I'm literally, where the top of my finger, that's where the product is. And there was a time when I had experimented for a couple weeks and used this shampoo every week. Um, and that's how I kind of came to realize that I don't like using it on its own, uh, but well, these products are never gonna run out on me. I already know. They're probably gonna expire before I even get to halfway. 